Right, working really, really hard as usual. Now, what I thought I'd do is actually share with you um, this, little, this little darling here. Now, if you remember, I think it was six months ago, seven months ago, I did a review on this because we, we had just bought this because our old compressor, the SGS, the big 100 litre one that we had in the workshop, managed to blow up and just stop working. Although we had had it for lots and lots of years and, you know, it was a brilliant workhorse. We replaced it with this one, which was a little oilless uh, portable compressor, smaller cylinder size, um, and at the time it was like, it's great because it's light and we can move it around, but I wasn't 100% convinced, as you probably gathered from the review. After six months, how are we getting on with it? Well, actually, it's amazing. It's, I don't know really, it's just really, really good. I couldn't have done things like this. I would never, ever have actually brought the compressor out of the main workshop to work on something. Um, like this, I would have just found other ways to do it. But basically, because it's so lightweight, I can just wheel it out, I can wheel it around all over the place. Um, have I got any gripes about it? Well, yes and no. This broke, this end, this plastic piece broke, but I think the plastic might have been a little bit brittle. Um, but I contacted Hyundai and they just, they just changed it completely free of charge. So it wasn't really a problem. Didn't stop it working, it's just like a little guard. I do have one gripe though, I must admit, the old SGS model that I had lived outside pretty much and never ever showed signs of rust. The paint on this one isn't the best, I've got to admit. And where the handle is joined, you can't really see on the camera, I'll do some close-ups to show you, but where the handle is joined and where some of these pipes are joined, uh, where the rubber feet are, it's, it's, there's, there's, it's showing signs of rust, bits of rust coming through. Now, I think it's literally down to the fact that the paint is too thin. Um, which is a shame really because it kind of lets it down a little bit really because these these things are absolutely rock solid. Um, we had some comments about longevity, are they going to work being oilless, do we need new seals in them, Have it, has it lost compression and the answer to all that is no, it's got just as much compression now as, it, as the day I bought it and to be perfectly honest I can't see why it wouldn't carry on and also given the price would you really want to rebuild one of these to be perfectly honest? You know five or six years from now, if it fails or whatever, I'm just going to buy another one. I'm not going to bother rebuilding it because it actually has been really, really good. It's used every single day, every single day. Um, I don't know how many hours a day, but we use it to build things like this. We use it, we're using everything, all the air tools, saws, everything. Um, yeah, the duty cycle is a, bit, is a bit less than the other one because it had a hundred litre cylinder. This one doesn't, but it fills up so quickly. It's neither here nor there. So, 10 out of 10 still, 10 out of 10 for the little Hyundai uh, super silent oil-free compressor because it's still working absolutely brilliantly from the day I bought it 